Hello everybody, happy Saturday. So today is cleaning house day. Um, so my hair is just up in a braid because we are just gonna be cleaning. I slept in, which never happens. I got up at like a little after eight. Um, that's when Luke got up. So that's when Charles and I got up. So that was a nice treat. And I'm gonna take you through what we eat today and just kind of spend the day with you guys. But just know, Saturdays are tough totally different when I showed you guys my menus I don't even plan a breakfast or a lunch on Saturdays because everybody fends for themselves on Saturdays that's kind of how we do it um so I don't have a planned anything so they'll be all over the place the girls are actually going to go to their father's family's Easter today so they're going to do lunch there so I won't even have a lunch to show you um I know you guys don't ever hear me say that, but they do tend to go and see all of them on holidays and birthdays usually is when they see that family. Um, so I am going to not even have a lunch to show for that. It is noon, still my pajamas because all my clothes are in the dryer. <laughs> I got behind on laundry this week, totally. I had a day that I didn't film and um, it was a no sleep day here. And no sleep days take me forever to get caught up. But thank God Luke only have one no sleep day this week, which is fabulous. Um, but yeah, so I'll just spend the day with you. I'll show you what everybody's kind of doing. You'll get a little glimpse into everybody, I'm sure, today. And Charles and I will eat eventually. We just haven't had anything to eat yet. Um, a lot of times we don't even eat until way later in the afternoon on the weekends because we're just busy. We get up and we go, go, go. And then... Um, you know, we might like grab a banana or something like that before um, later afternoon. And then usually he'll make like a peanut butter sandwich or something like that. And then um, we sit down to a big dinner. So that's how it's going. And tonight's dinner on the menu is Sloppy Joe's. And I'll make Sloppy Lentil Joe's and Sloppy Regular Joe's. And... Um, that's about it. That's about our menu. I'm going to make some home fries. So I'll boil some potatoes soon so that they're ready tonight for home fries. And corn. I think that was what our plan was. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Good morning, everyone. Mom overslept, so I went ahead and made coffee, and I'm making breakfast. It is peanut butter chocolate smoothie. It has about four bananas in it, four dates, um, some cocoa powder, coconut sugar, vanilla, and cinnamon. And this is for the three girls. And Theo will have some too. I, I'm going to make another batch. Okay, so Charles is going to have something real quick. He's eating a peanut bar. <laughs> you know what y'all see him eating on camera. He is making all kinds of plans. He is going to be working on the swing set today. So I will show you bits and pieces of that. He's about to go run and get the lumber as soon as I get back from dropping the kids off. So the reason behind... Yep, he's out of here. The reason behind fixing the swing set and doing improvements to the swing set is uh, it is falling apart in some spots. So like the stairs climbing up are getting dangerous because they're cracking and nobody but luke can go up them right now and we're afraid even he is getting too heavy and it's just gonna snap and he needs to repair some of the hardware that's going on um the top of the swings and then he also needs to uh just make it safer so that luke is wanting to kind of hang over the top and so he's going to cover all that in and rearrange it so that I can see from the house exactly going up the stairs, coming down the slide. Luke can't go over the edge anymore or hang over and try to. So we don't have any dangerous situations happening. So that is how he's doing it. And how does that work budget wise? Also, we, because of using our credit card, we have points. So he was able to trade in points too to get a Home Depot gift card. So that will help cover most of the cost of the wood. So him doing it himself too obviously saves us a ton of money and our swing set gets a ton a ton of use so i will show you that as he uh, does some of that today and i am going to have a banana real quick because i'm getting hungry <laughs> and it is about 12:15.
right, Charles ran. He just showed you guys the swing set, a little clip. Um, and now he ran to Home Depot to get the wood and stuff, so I just put some um, bacon in the oven, and I'll show you that real quick. And I'm gonna start boiling the potatoes so that I've got them ready for dinner. So I will share with you how I make my home fries. They turn out fabulous every time, but you boil them for until they're almost cooked um, on top of this on top of the stove in a pan and then put them in your fridge let them cool so then at night when you're ready to eat it cut them into fries and then I'll show you the spices and stuff I put on and then you put them in your air fryer and they turn out wonderful every time so I'll share that with you and I'm gonna make us BLTs for lunch when he gets back we will have that because it's going on two o'clock we're getting hungry so there is bacon I always make it in the oven a big sheet pan and I actually after this is done we'll make another pound of bacon so I've got it to make the um, bacon egg and cheese biscuits that I want to make but I'm gonna do most of the meal prep kind of stuff tomorrow today is more focused on house cleaning and always running everybody here there and everywhere and Luke he is watching Captain Underpants. He thinks that this show is hilarious. It's on Netflix. Just what he needs, right? Academy, the best school for the best minds. I am. Let's see. College level after school work. And first prize in an avocado growing competition. What? What? Wait. I know. We're back on my little. He just needs more Hi, Gideon. I'm getting you the card out of the mail soon. It's Bye. still not growing. What are we I want you guys to see our trees because this only happens, you know, for a very short time during the year. So take a look. Here they are. As soon as we get a big storm, they will all go away. It will look like it snowed on our ground. But our yard is looking so pretty. We have some bare spots up here though. So Charles is going to plant some grass up here. This is a bench that he built to have some extra seating out here and then he built the little thing for the light out here so that we can all have a place to sit and we're out watching them all play on the swing set and he did build our swing set if you didn't know that or hadn't heard me tell you that he built all of it he drew up a plan and he just did it on his own it is just an, another absolutely gorgeous day out here. Just gorgeous. Oh, something else he... And then he built this stairs. If you can see, they come down. Um, because we just had some little slab stairs and Luke was a baby and my grandma coming out. So he built one with a rail for them all to hold on to and nobody can get hurt. And then this matching little thing for me to store toys and stuff when we're outside. Those are some other things that he has built. He is such a handy guy. <laughs> I'm very lucky that I have such a handy husband. I hope all of you are having beautiful weather too. Because it's just beautiful. I love, I love the beautiful sunny weather. I love it. It makes my heart sing. It's just so happy. Alright. I want to share all my beautiful flowers. When you're up in our bedroom, you can look out the window. I'll show you. So I will show you our views out the window right now. Because they are all so pretty i show it to you and my color on my camera is being weird so sorry i'm gonna look funky but i'll have to get that fixed okay so this is my bedroom window. and that's what you see beautiful tree beautiful lights and over here see all the neighborhoods beautiful trees that's my windows and then this is our bathroom window you can see all the beautiful trees and then Brick and Ash's window. They have beautiful trees right outside. And this is Kate and Theo's window. But I gotta tell you, they get the coolest of all because we always have birds build nests in this tree right here. And you get to see the baby's hatch. Everybody comes in to look because it is so cool. I don't see any yet, but it never fails. There is always birds in this, always. So it is like we are, her room is a mess. It's like we are surrounded by flowers everywhere. I just love it. 
that it only lasts for such a short time. That stinks. Um, yeah. In the kids' bathroom, you see the same thing. You get the point. <laughs> and here is out front. Yeah, he's so beautiful. My tulips are coming up everywhere. Charles built that bench too, by the way. My tulips are coming up everywhere. I'm so excited. My pretty yellow flowers. So beautiful. I love spring. Okay guys, Charles is still at Home Depot, so I'm gonna go on and eat, because who knows when he'll ever come back. He's been gone for like an hour and a half. And that's like a candy store. So I'm gonna have my BLT, and then when he gets home, he can make his. And as soon as he gets home, I gotta go run and pick up the girls, because they're ready to come home. And they've been there for about an hour and a half, so. I'm gonna go eat lunch. Let's show you his when I'm making. And here is Charles's. So Charles just got back and he said they didn't have the, what do you call it, honey, the stuff? They didn't have swing hangers. At, well, actually they don't sell anything for swing sets anymore at all. So I don't have a, I was gonna get a baby swing, but I can't get a baby swing there and I can't get the swing hangers. So we're gonna have to order that off Amazon, but all his lumber and everything, he did great because he had the gift card is 250 and he only spent, did you say a hair under 200? 192. 192. Perfect. All right, so this is my car. Whole lot of lumber, and he said he got grass seed too with that money. Because I showed you guys we needed some grass. There we go. Lots of lumber. I love the smell of lumber. And grass seed. Luke is being a helper. Good job. Wow. What is it? Those are sanding discs. Whoa. Sanding discs. Here's another one. Thank you for helping get everything screws. out. Oh my <laughs> word. Well, we need them back in the bag to carry all the screws. Oh. There's three little screws in this bag. Don't Thank drop you, them helper. Out. Such a good daddy helper. You're such a good helper to dad. Will you let go? You're ready for resin samples? All right, I'm gonna help him get this emptied real quick because I gotta go get the girls. I'll see you guys when we get back. Hard at work. And these are our apple trees. And this we're going to clear out, and that's going to be Luke's garden. We will be doing that soon. Okay, so it is going on six o'clock and I'm just now starting dinner because when we sleep in a little bit, he's getting upset about something. Time slips away, not complaining at all. Love the sleeping in, promise. But it's like we're three hours behind. We're used to getting up at five. So all I did so far is I've got my pressure cooker here. I don't have an Instapot. This is just a pressure cooker. And um, I have lentils going in there. And then I'm gonna get out the potatoes that I boiled earlier and I was going to show you guys how I make my home fries so I'm going to do that real quick
let's just roll that dice. See me roll my eyes to my darling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You say you want me back. I say, get your head out of the room. are going oh bright lights and I have the um, beans cooking and I have and I have the ground turkey is defrosting so we're gonna come out and peek and see what kind of progress we got going on out here on the swing set it's definitely getting deconstructed and it looks like he is doing some of the staining so how's it going, babe? I got more work than I have daylight. Yeah, it won't all get done today. So boy, it needed this stuff bad. Yes, yes. The stain we still had. Yep. But we're going to need more, aren't we? We don't have yeah, enough to do it all. I need, uh, I need probably another gallon and a half to do this whole thing. Two gallons. I think it takes typically two gallons to do this if it is... Uh, needing two coats. I'm sure it will. And I think the last here, just... time I did it, it was about 150 labor hours. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> it's a long time because there's so much. Yeah, but why it's all taken apart, that should go a little faster. Well, right? this part is, yeah. But I'm not taking that apart. <laughs> That's He's talking much. about the big one. Awesome job, babe. Okay, and all I'm doing here is I am just browning my turkey, ground turkey. We prefer ground turkey um, than beef when we do tacos or sloppy joes, anything like that. We just really prefer ground beef for hamburgers and not a lot else. <laughs> the main thing we use ground beef for in this house is hamburgers. But, um, I want to tell you, so all I will do is the beans are done over here. So I'm just going to release my pressure. And then I will make a barbecue sauce that I'll put over the ground turkey and over the beans. I'll drain them, make sure that there's no extra liquid. And when I make my barbecue sauce, all I do is I use bottled barbecue sauce. I have something fell off my washing machine. I use bottled barbecue sauce, and this is what I'm using today. And then I will make some ketchup and mustard and some brown sugar, and that's it. Just mix it together, and then I will put that over top of the uh, turkey and the beans both. And then we will eat those on buns. So I'll show you the rest of that as soon as it is done. Okay, and also one of you suggested adding lentils. So I did that here. 
to um, my meat, whether I'm making tacos, sloppy joes, that kind of a thing, because it would help stretch it, and honestly, you won't know the difference, and I really do believe you won't, because we do it all the time. But here is my lentils, and I don't mean we add it all the time, I mean we eat lentils all the time, so, and you really can't tell a big difference at all. So mixed in with the meat, I'm sure you can't tell. So that was a trick one of you shared with me, so thank you, and I'm happy to share that now with everybody. I forget who did it, so if you did, you can leave me a message and, uh, down below, and I'll make sure to holler at you. All right, I'm gonna finish this up real quick. All right, so this is the potatoes that we just made, and if you don't have nutritional yeast, you could do Parmesan cheese, you could do breadcrumbs, something to just kind of give it a coating. See how this got like a coating on it? really does make a big difference so we are having that i got some corn here this is pineapple it was fresh pineapple that i cut up the other day we really need to eat that up a couple of the kids do not like barbecue anything so i made them grilled cheese and then over here we have the um turkey that i just did and then the beans and we're gonna get out some buns but this one, he's eating a peanut butter sandwich and he's exhausted. A full day of outside. Mm -hmm. Say hi, everybody. Say hi to the friends. No? All right. He came over just to give me a big old hug. I like it so much. <laughs> All right, so guys, don't forget to um, share with me if you want what you had for dinner. Mm. Always looking for ideas, and thank you again so much for all the fabulous chicken ideas. I cannot wait to make them all. I hope you guys try some of these mm. recipes out. Let me know if you do. And tomorrow, I thought we are doing our budget review, let you know how we did this week. We definitely had some unexpected things come up. So that part, not so good, but it's all right. It's, you look at it in a month not in a week <laughs> and um, we'll go over that with you guys tomorrow and then I thought that I would also show you guys tomorrow um, what I do for meal prep what we are gonna make it's gonna be a rainy nasty day here so perfect day for being inside in the kitchen all right I'll see all of you tomorrow thank you so much for watching everybody bye, bye.